All right, guys, Johnny Avanti here, and behind me is the Grady White Canyon 27 foot boat. Now, this is a 2,600 pound boat for $209,000. Manufacturer resale price is $249. So, let's just go over this boat and see what $209,000 Grady White buys you. So let's start at the bow. You know, the Grady has a beautiful paint job. It has that big bow in the front to reduce uh, splashing or spray is what they call it. You know, if you hit big waves. You had that nice windlass with that stainless steel uh, anchor, that stainless steel cover in the front there. You know, everything is stainless steel. Again, this boat is uh, $249,000 asking price you have those gigantic rocket launchers i mean those things are huge right they're adjustable they fold in and come out you know you get that nice big t-top you know all powder coated aluminum looks really nice i mean it looks really nice you have nice uh glass all around so it keeps the spray off you the wind off you while you're cruising and here it is grady white canyon 271 so let's take a look at the price 2021 Canyon 271 Bow Rider, $209,000 show price, manufactured sub retail price, $246. Okay, this is not sitting on a trailer, so you're not going to get a trailer with this boat. The other thing you're going to get is you're going to get these two massive Yamaha engines that they're $60,000 right there. You know, with, with the stainless steel props, the engines, uh, the mounting, all of that, that costs big money. It has a low transom. Um, so, I don't know, is this an offshore boat with that really low transom? I think they should have put a bracket on here, you know, for $246,000. And uh, it probably would have been a more seaworthy boat because, you know, big wave will flood that whole uh, transom back there without doubt you know you do have scupper holes so it probably has where the water can't get in but it can't let's take a look inside let's see what you get on the inside you know 200 remember keep in mind this is a retail price two hundred and forty nine thousand dollar boat so you come in you know you're greeted with this you know this door you can't pull some fish in through here you know to me grady's a fishing boat so i would have liked to see a big tuna door <laughs> So you go pull in some big tuners. So you come back here, you step in. I mean, it's nice. You know, you have your nice uh, live well here. Big, big live well. Pretty big live well. A wash off. Could be a fresh water wash down. You know, the hinges feel really good. Nice and solid. You know, tackle box. Right there. Plano, could be Plano. You know, drawers, starboard drawers, no wood, but but that, that makes it lighter. You know, is a lighter boat better than a heavier boat? That's for you to decide. Uh, here's a knife holder for cutting bait. I guess you would cut the bait on here. You got a, you know, holder, maybe knives here for filleting. You got three rocket launches, rod holders there. You have four rod holders up there. And, um... You have a live well right here, which is pretty big. I mean, that is a pretty nice looking live well. Again, nut cup holders here, rod holder right there. And we're gonna open this up. Another live well, pretty nice. There's the uh, brochure for the boat. You know, for, with 6,800 pounds, uh, these two 300s are gonna push this boat around like there's no tomorrow. I mean, you're probably going to do like 40 miles an hour with this. 60. 60 miles an hour. Thank you. So 60 miles an hour, 6,800 pounds. That's pretty quick. You know, on flat surface, you're not going to do that on waves, but still, you got 60 miles an hour. You can get up and go. How many gallons? Uh, this is, uh, 210 gallons of fuel. So if you do 60 miles an hour, you're going to have the fuel to back you up which is really uh, good to know. You have more storage down here. The gunnels, 
the gunnels that if you could see comes up to my thigh that's pretty good i like that nice padded gunnels pretty high so if you know you're rocking with the boat you know, especially if you come here and you bring your feet back and you're rocking you know you, you you're not likely gonna fall overboard you know what i mean you're gonna be okay so walking to the front of the boat nice and easy there's plenty of room back here you got these nice handles you know this this is probably a, a seat i'm not sure how this works that that backrest flips over and you can just like lay out there and on the other side and a lot of boats are doing that now which is pretty cool you know you have under uh you have storage under here you could take these uh covers off and fish off of that so you know the guys you don't get blood all over here this is a white boat you know your anchor is in the front let's just take a quick look what's under here all right here's your windlass you do have a manual uh to bring it down and bring it up for the anchor which is pretty cool and you can have a little storage in there which is good so here's the controls to bring it up and down if you want to do it from the uh, bow of the boat more cup holders rod holders up in the front there again this is a nice place to be you know looking at the boat from the front you know it looks pretty nice you know canyon 271 so they're saying this is a canyon boat you know with the 200 gallons of fuel i agree you know you got 200 plus gallons of fuel with two 300 yamahas pushing a 6800 pound boat that's dry you know without fuel water uh engines and all of that so the so the the weight adds up and you got the power to back you up you know so the hole is only 6800 pounds where a lot of the boats around this size are about nine ten thousand pounds you know like true like fishing boats so coming around the side here you know you have that seat you can see a lot of seating in this boat plenty of seating here's the captain's area you got these nice benches so this is your seat not too luxurious uh but you know it's it's a functional seat i've seen a lot better seats than this you know on a, on a 249 thousand dollar boat you know just simply picks up you know simple you know what do you get in here you get you know for your yamaha engines and you have uh overhead storage compartment i guess this is for your maps or whatever you want to put in there um here's some more storage area now you can put all your other navigational stuff right in here uh and that's pretty good cup holders you have the fusion charging this is for the two engines you know the steering wheel is nice it's all stainless steel you know which is it's all right i mean you know in cold weather this is going to be cold so I would have rather had a plastic or maybe a heated steering wheel at this price point. You know, a heated steering wheel would look good. This is nice powder coated aluminum. Pretty cool. So we come around here and here's a window. We're going to take a look at the head in just a minute. So there's the seating again. You know, there's under storage there. You can store all kinds of stuff under there. And again, here's the name canon 271 hole designed by grady white boats cv you know you have storage under here okay another live well you know like i was taking a look at the black fin it's almost the same price as this and you get a lot more boat a lot more boat you know here's the head that's that's a lot of room okay let me let's say wow that is roomy you can actually just sit in there if you want there's seats in there you know there's a toilet again like you know if you if you can customize this boat and you just ordered a porta potty you would save a lot of money just you know having a porta potty you don't need a, a head like that flush the toilet you know i would just get a porta potty they work just as good so this is a, a big area that that's nice you know they gave you a big 
cockpit like that it closes nicely the hinges are nice you know stainless steel quality is good this is uh molded plastic so you know you don't want to crack that but because to replace that i don't think you could i would probably cover it with a protective coating there's the rocket launcher uh, handles which is pretty cool this is a fishing boat you know what do we got in here storage you know you got some storage some controls it's pretty cool you know it's all stainless steel you know nothing cheap you know so i mean it, you could see the visibility is good i'm sure you can get you know a full canopy to cover yourself up all the way around you have these nice uh powder coated uh aluminum hand handrails here you don't have a full bow uh railing system you just have this i mean i would prefer a full bow railing system because it's just you know when you, this is like they say a canyon boat so canyon means 75 miles out for new jersey and you never know you hit some rough seas you're gonna want some big rails because <laughs> you know you could you could bounce and bye bye you're going overboard but this is the boat we're gonna take a quick walk around there's plenty of plenty of walking room you know you don't have to squeeze in to walk around the boat there's your wash down it's a, it's a nice boat i mean you know i don't think it's worth uh, two hundred and forty-nine thousand dollars. I'm sorry. I mean, it looks luxurious, but it's not really that luxurious. I mean, it just looks like you know a simple boat that I would I would like price this out at eighty-nine thousand. You know, well, don't forget those engines are sixty thousand dollars. So like you know, one hundred and forty, fifty thousand dollars. You know, this boat could be a hundred thousand dollars overpriced. Well, this is Johnny Avanti. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, don't forget to like, like, share, subscribe. Uh, what do you think about the, this Grady White Canyon 27 foot boat? Do you think it's worth $249,000? Because you don't get a trailer if you take the motors away, that's 60 grand. So you got a $190,000 haul. So it's worth $249,000. They're asking $209 at the show. So if you see a boat on a trailer, you get the trailer. If there's no trailer, you gotta buy a trailer. So take care, peace out, and don't forget to hit that bell. And don't forget to ring that bell. <laughs>